Smartphone processors get more and more powerful each year, and we're now at a point where our phones are almost good enough for real work. The new Galaxy S8 packs a beefy Snapdragon 835 processor, which is strong enough for smooth VR experiences, so why not turn it into a desktop machine? Samsung wants to help you do that with its new dock called DeX. I tried out the DeX docking station with an S8 plugged in and was most impressed by its Android-based OS that's tweaked for bigger screens. Before we dive into how it felt to use DeX, let's make one thing very clear. Samsung is not the first to try out this dock for the phone thing. HP already attempted this with the Elite X3. Still, Samsung's customized the experience enough here to persuade us that DeX is worthy of a closer look. Let's start with the dock's physical characteristics. On DeX, there are two USB ports, an HDMI slot, an Ethernet jack, and a USB-C socket for power. With these connectors, you can hook your phone up to a display, wired keyboard, and mouse for a complete desktop setup. You can also link up accessories over Bluetooth, freeing up USB ports for external drives. When you want to connect your phone, slide up the top part of the dock. The disc moves up and leans on a hinge to form a stand. This reveals the USB-C connector that you stick the S8 on, and under it is a fan that cools down the phone in case it starts heating up. Once connected, the phone takes a few seconds before it starts transmitting info to the connected peripherals. The version of Android that streams to the monitor is optimized for that bigger screen. You'll notice it all looks very familiar. From the All Apps button on the bottom left of the screen, to the taskbar also at the bottom that shows open apps and the time, connectivity, and battery level. This tweaked OS also offers multi-window support, and each window can be resized to whatever dimensions you want. These are all features that are familiar and intuitive in a desktop setting. Samsung also teamed up with Microsoft to optimize apps like Word, PowerPoint, and Excel for DeX. Basically, you'll get the tablet version of those apps, and the main difference is the resizable windows. The resizing and layout for the bigger canvas only works for a handful of apps for now, including Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop Express. There is no real limit to how many windows you can have open at once. You'll just find the system slowing down depending on what you're doing in each app. This, again, resembles a real desktop experience. Oh, and if you want an actual Windows system on the DeX, the S8 also supports desktop virtualization via VMware, Amazon, or Citrix. When I tried writing in Word while having a Chrome window and YouTube open, I was satisfied with the S8 speed. I didn't notice the slightest bit of lag. Characters don't appear on the screen as quickly as they would when I'm typing on a laptop or desktop. But a Samsung rep told me this could be because of the Bluetooth connection of the demo keyboard. I also didn't get a chance to really push the S8 harder during this preview. We'll have to wait till we get our hands on the device for a true real-world test. For now, though, DeX's most compelling aspect is the desktop-friendly version of Android that Samsung has created. It has its limits, but if this early iteration is any indication, Samsung may have finally found a suitable way to bring Android to the desktop.